today's video, we are looking at the Vitro V5 CPU cooler. Now this CPU cooler can usually be purchased on Amazon around about £30 or so, or $35 if you're in the US. Now this cooler is a tower cooler. It's 120 millimeters in height and comes with a 120 millimeter ARGB fan. So you will have illumination here when you do plug it into your motherboard. Now, unfortunately, this doesn't support the LGA 1700 platform out of the box, although I think you can buy an additional bracket from Vitro if you do want to have that. But this can take LGA 1200 sockets. It can take LGA 1366, 1156, 1155, 1151, 1150 and 775, as well as AMD's AM4, AM3+, plus, AM2+, plus, AM2, FM2+, plus, and FM2. So basically, more or less, support all round for any CPU that you actually have. So this has a recommended TDP of 150 watts, so it's pretty much gonna be more or less fine for any CPU nowadays. So in today's video, we're gonna be taking an unboxing of this and we'll, I'll guide you through the installation as well on the AM4 platform. So let's unbox the Vitro V5 CPU cooler. So we've just got a little pull tab here. So let's have a look there. So this is the actual cooler in here. So there's mounting here. So you can see all the different mounting there for AMD and Intel. Little instructions here, which is nice. CPU cooler itself. And the fan. So it doesn't look like it's actually got pre-applied thermal paste, so you will have to put thermal paste with it. Pretty much as you'd expect from a tower cooler, it's got about five different heat pipes at each side there, which it, which it takes through the heat. Pretty much the same design as the Cooler Master 212 Evo, or something like that. It's all black design, which is nice. It's kind of all blacked out. Well, the Evo is like sort of a bit silver, but they have released a black one, but... This one's uh, this one's all black, which is nice. Uh, let's go on to the fan. As I said, the fan is an ARGB fan, which is nice. It's got the ARGB connector here. Uh, okay, this this is the PWM connector here. There we go. And then this is the ARGB, and then I think actually you can extend the ARGB as well. That's what that's, that's what that's there for. Pretty much, you know, just standard 120 millimeter fan. Nothing special here, it just lights up the usual RGB unicorn puke or anything like that that you want. It's gonna give your build a little bit more style, a little bit more color, obviously. As I said, this, this cooler is just sort of very standard, very 120 millimeter tower cooler sort of standard. It is, it does look, from previous reviews, it does look quite good, and I think the thermals are gonna be really good on it. The black design is nice. It'll go with most cases fine. Actually, before we move on to the uh, installation, I'll just have a look at the um, different brackets and stuff that you get. So it comes with a little bit of thermal paste, which is nice. This is the Intel one, this has got Intel over here, if you can see. Uh, this is also Intel as well. This is Intel bracket here. Uh, this is the AMD bracket. Now the AMD one, I don't think you actually, oh yeah, that's right. The AMD one, you don't actually use these brackets, you use the, the default bracket, which is on your AM4 motherboard. And then you just take out the two sort of retaining bracket things and then you keep in the main plate which is underneath the board and then you just you you uh attach these onto here onto each side and then you but i'll go through the insulation soon so don't worry about that and then you've got the clips here for attaching your fan and obviously your screws to attach the cooler on so let's go on to the cooler installation now the vitro v5 uh, I'll take this out first of all. So, 
the first thing we're going to do is we're going to attach the uh, brackets on here, the A and B brackets, screws are here. There we go. I'm also just going to take that off right now. Oh. So our motherboard is the Prime B550 Plus from ASUS. So we're using the Ryzen 5 3600 here. So CPU insulation, quite simple on the AM4 platform. The lever goes all the way up to the 90 degrees. And then we just take our CPU and hopefully it just pops in. There it is, just took there. Check it all round, make sure it's all good. Yep, that's in. And there we go. So the writing goes across this way and then the little uh, triangle is also on, on the motherboard and also on the CPU there. So next we're going to take off the retention brackets, these two here, there's no screw there but that's because we just didn't have that screw but otherwise normally you would take that one out as well. So what we're going to do, need to do is just take a little bit of the thermal paste that Vitra actually provide, which is nice. So then you just undo this. I'm just going to put a little piece size on. That should be more than enough. So actually... <laughs> Coming back to the cooler here, I've actually done a mistake. So let's go back. This, 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 this is supposed to be, these are supposed to be the other way around actually. Yeah, so they're supposed to kind of face inwards like that, from what I can tell from here, yeah. And then these plugs come all the way down, apparently. Okay, let's let's go again with that. So this is how it's supposed to look. Okay. Now in theory we should just start putting these down and yeah, I think they're, they're fitting a lot better now. Yeah, there we go. So they're all over the holes now. So I think if I just uh, anti-turn them should click and then you start putting them down so then what you do is do like a little figure of four that corner to this corner to this corner to that corner Like I say, just do a figure of eight. If you start there, then you go to this one, then you go to this one, then you go to this one. And just keep tightening them up as you go along. That one doesn't want to go any further. That one's I think there now. Okay, 
there, I think that one's there now as well. So we should be able to lift it up now. Yeah. Yeah, we've got even pressure there, so it's all good. So let's put them on the fan. We're gonna to wanna to push air through and out of the case. So it's gonna go this way. So the back of the fan there is gonna to go to here. just clip round there They're perfectly fine the fans not going anywhere so that's all good and then we just need to plug in our fan just to get everything set up here so I just run run the fan there and then CPU fan and CPU options the so CPU fan should be the first one Addressable RGB just needs to go down to here. There we go. A little bit fiddly that one, but got it there. And then you're just going to sort of tuck that one out of the way a bit, but we can do that once we put the graphics card in and what have you. So that's the uh, installation of the CPU cooler and the CPU uh, installed. So just to summarize for the Vitro V5, uh, this is a pretty decent cooler. It kept our temperatures pretty low. Now our idle is around about 30 degrees or so it kept our CPU, the Ryzen 5 3600. So it kept our CPU at idle around about 30 degrees centigrade, so that's really respectable for a 120 millimeter tower. And then when it, when we put it under load of a Cinebench multi-core test, using the CPU at 100%, it was around about 70 degrees Celsius. And as you can see, the RGB looks quite nice as well, I think. I think it, it, it looks, it's, it's a nice little addition rather than just having a black cooler with a black fan. It's a nice little addition, the ARGB. And it is customizable if you do want to go in and customize the colors and what have you. So overall, yeah, this is a nice little cooler, around about 30 pounds or so. I certainly recommend getting it. It certainly does its job um, and it would be better than any AMD or Intel stock cooler as well. So. I hope you like this little overview, this little unboxing, this little installation guide. And if you, if you are liking my content here, please press the subscribe button and like the video. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.